Here we have a circle with a secant line and a tangent line, and they both intersect outside of the circle. Okay. To be able to solve this problem, we need to know the following relationship. Let's say we have a circle with the following secant line and the following tangent line. Let's call this AB, call that point C, and this D. Okay, so this is the secant, and this is the tangent. And they intersect outside of the circle. Then the following relationship will hold if you take the length of the entire secant up from the intersection to the opposite um, point where it intersects the circle, so BA, and you take the length of the tangent from the intersection to the point where it intersects the circle. That's going to equal the ratio of the tangent's length over just this small part here, the part of the secant that is outside of the circle. Okay. And that's always true as long as the secant and the tangent intersect outside of the circle. This is what is known as the geometric mean because the two means are equal to each other. Okay, So if we wanted to do this one, I would just say, well, FD that's the length of the large piece here, over FG is equal to FG, once again, notice these two are equal here, over the small part, FE. Okay, so the length of FD is equal to the length of FE plus the length of EF, I'm sorry, ED, excuse me. So that's equal to 12 plus x plus 9. So that's equal to x plus 21. So x plus 21 over FG is equal to 18. It's equal to FG, which is 18, over FE, which is just 12. So all I need to do is solve this um, proportion. And I'm going to do that by cross multiplying, which is known as the means extreme theorem. Well, we're using what is known as the means extreme theorem, which means you're going to multiply the means, which are the 18s, and the extremes, which are these two here. So notice it's just going to, um, because this is a geometric mean, it's just going to be 18 squared and 12 times x plus 21. Okay, so let's just do a little bit of algebra. Um, and what is... 18 squared. 18 squared is 324. So 12 times x plus 21 is equal to 324. Now instead of distributing, the easiest thing to do is actually to go ahead and divide by 12 now. Because x plus 12, I'm sorry, x plus 21 can equal 27 because 324 is divisible by 12. Okay, now I just need to subtract 21 from both sides. So that means x is equal to 6. Well, we're not done because the problem didn't ask us to find x. It asked us to find fg. It asked us to, I'm sorry, fd. It asked us to find the length of this whole thing here. Well, we found here that fd is equal to x plus 21. So as soon as we found out what x was, we can find out what fd was. Well, we found x to be 6. So it's just 6 plus 21. So FD is equal to 27.